Hi, welcome to Cat Dad Gaming. Today we're playing Children of Clay, uh, and it looks really good to be honest. So uh, yeah, it's a submission for a game jam, the Hawktober Horror Game Jam. So yeah, play it, drop a rating, I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Uh, so let's read the blurb. The Children of Clay is a short stop motion archaeology horror game where you have to study an ancient artifact and discover its dark secret. How cool does that sound? Uh, so yeah, I'm on board, I'm on board. So yeah, usually I play Let's Plays for fun, and I've recorded a few. And I made a recent video on the worst games on Steam. Uh, it's the first one I've done in that format, and it's it's doing pretty good, to be honest. I'm pretty happy about that. Check it out if you haven't seen it. A bit of cheeky self-promotion. <laughs> but anyway, uh, if you subbed for that video, stay tuned, because I've got a few more coming soon. Um, yeah, so let's just go. Name, artifact number 297. Kurgan Burial Mound, 7B, Ural Mountains. Material, clay, age unknown, function unknown. All right, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got a table with an artifact, some books, a compass, a pen. Ooh, a magnifier, that's cool. All right, let's look at this uh, clay artifact. This feature resembles a human face. I have to apologize, to the face. I'm a bit croaky voice today, I uh, got a bit too carried away watching football and, you know, football, so my voice is, uh, is a bit gone. Oh, I can change it. Ooh. Should I be looking at through the magnifying glass? Maybe. Oh, there's a dot, what's the dot do? Looks like a metal object embedded in the artifact. It doesn't seem like it is possible to extract it. Maybe I can find out what kind of metal it is. Right, book. Search for... Alright. The compass is detecting a magnetic field, so likely it contains iron. Alright, that's cool. What about you over here? Nothing? Alright, let's look for... Iron. The earliest known ironwork is dated from 3500 BC and made from meteoric iron. That's cool. There are two main types of ironwork. Wrought iron or cold iron and cast iron. Old iron has a long and varied tradition in the mythology and folklore of the world. Okay. Old iron. Old iron is stops berries. It's historically believed to repel, contain, or harm ghosts. <laughs> just, yeah, just punch a ghost with a horseshoe. <laughs> berries, witches, and other malevolent supernatural creatures. This belief continued into later superstitions in a number of forms. So yeah, I'm pretty happy to stay. So uh, yeah, my partner, she's a pretty good singer, and when she sings, it's like a freaking Disney princess. Like, all the animals come running, like seriously, our cat Sasha, she comes running, sits there and howls at her. And I, when I sing, maybe pretty badly, the cat just sits there and ignores me like, yeah, well, um, but not today. So I was singing and she came running, which I'm really happy about. I was singing some electric cowboys, so I guess Sasha is a fan of German techno metal, which is an image I don't think will ever leave my head. Um, <laughs> oh, I can't take that. Uh, the face. The face. Okay, <laughs> I could not find it. How about just face? What? Okay. Oh, there seem to be some sort of runes, but I don't recognize the type. Maybe I can find something in my books. Runes. <laughs> runes. The old Hungarian script. Sus Suspicious cat noises are happening. Very suspicious. Anyway, the old Hungarian script or Hungarian runes is an alphabetic writing system used for writing the Hungarian language. Got it. After the establishment of the Christian Hungarian Kingdom, the old writing system was partly forced out of use during the rule of King Stephen, and the Latin alphabet was adopted. However, among some professionals, e.g., Shepherds who used a rover stick to officially track the number of animals, the script has remained in use. Old Hungarian letters were usually written from right to left. I can translate the roots with this chart. Uh, yes I can. Does this mean I need a pen and paper? Got a pen and paper. So what do we have? We have a... Uh, a sideways infinity symbol of Kronos. So that's a U. A HE symbol with a left diagonal down is a R. Okay, now a little T. What is a little T? Just a little T. 
another one, that one base lead D, then another U, backwards D, there's an O, and then a mountain with a little swish. G maybe? Err, uh, dog. Right. U R D O G. Err, uh, dog. I cannot find anything relevant. Okay, I probably got that wrong. Let's try it again. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So we have a U from that. Backwards H is... Sorry. Riveting uh, deciphering going on. <laughs> and uh, so the second letter I think was a backwards H, which is an R maybe? Oh, uh, I think I got it. This... Uh, it's my mask on. This could be an N. So, er, dog. Dong. Alright. Uh, dong. Ah, here we go. Uh, dong. Old Hungarian is a shape shifting demonic creature from Hungarian mythology and early Hungarian paganism who controls the dark and evil forces of the world. After Christianization, it was identified with the devil. One surviving folktale about Erdung involves one of the spawns of Erdung arriving to Earth and the shaman of the village const Adulting the spirits to learn how to trap the creature. Okay. Oh. You appear to be bleeding, my friend. From the eyes. That is not a good place to be bleeding from. I mean, not that any is, but I feel like this is on the worst side of where you could be bleeding from. Interesting. Some sort of dark liquid is flowing out of the holes. <laughs> Don't like that. I could not find anything relevant. Okay. Looks like the dark liquid loosened the metal object. Do I want to touch that? I don't. I don't think I want to touch that. Ah. Uh, yeah, I touched it. Are you going to pull it out fully? All right, that's cool. Oh. Oh, I think I'm in trouble. I'm in danger! Ah, uh, Do I have to turn you around? Danger. <laughs> I could not find anything relevant. Help. I could not find anything relevant. <laughs> please. <laughs> I'm begging you. Please help. <laughs> Alright, let's turn you around. Don't like the raised uh, heartbeat coming on here. Oh! <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> Exempt from the newspaper article titled The Children of Clay, just a few months after the disappearance of the esteemed archaeologist and the incident involving a broken artifact, the team working on the remote site in the Urals has made an astonishing discovery. A previously unknown underground chamber containing a dozen similar small clay figures has been discovered. They are already in contact with several universities across the globe to further study them. That's cool. Right, that's Children of Clay. I really like that game, actually. Uh, I think that was a fantastic entry for a, for a game jam. Uh, my only complaints are, make more. I would love this to be longer. That actually would be an incredible game. Um, seriously, can you imagine that as a longer game? It would fucking rock. So anyway, I think I need more archaeological, archaeological horror. I didn't know I needed this in my life, but now I do. Uh, thanks for letting me uh, know. Uh, you know, you learn something new every day. Uh, but yeah, it, it's pretty simple as the concept goes, but it's it's really unique and I really like it. So yeah, make more. I'd, I'd play a longer version of this happily. Um, yeah, so I'll leave a link in the description so you can find the game for yourself and play it. And if you like the video, consider liking, subscribing, leaving a comment. You know all that good stuff because it definitely helps the channel grow. And with that, I hope to see you again sometime soon. Take care.